thinking about heading to Johor Bahru for a few days and would like some tips on the top three luxury hotels. Some fun things to do in Old Town JB, like visit a banana bread factory that still bakes them in a wood-fired oven. It's amazing. Um, stay tuned to this video. I'm gonna show you around the few days that I spent in JB. I'm gonna show you the top three hotels and walk you through how I did this with Firefly. I'm Wander with Angela. I put out videos a couple times a week on the best places to eat, drink, play, and stay in Asia. Today that is in my old home base of Malaysia in JB. Let's get started. Once again, thank you for choosing Firefly and we hope you have a better flight. Uh, should you benefit the assistance, our cabin crews are ready to assist you. Thank you. Of course, first you need to get there. Firefly is my favorite domestic airline. I've used them since 2016 when I first moved to Malaysia. All right, it's my first time flying on a prop plane in a while. I don't know if you can see it there, but I'm pretty excited because I've always flown in and out of uh, the Kuala Lumpur International Airport, the KLIA, and then the low cost terminal KLIA2 for Air Asia but there's actually another option when you're flying domestically and that's Sabong. And they continue to just impress me every time I fly with them. You can actually save a ton of time with them as well because you avoid in Kuala Lumpur flying in and out of KLIA or KLIA2. And as you know, anyone who's flown in or out of those airports, they are big, they take time, you get stuck in immigration lines, that never happens in Subang. Subang is kind of downtown, it's not downtown Kuala Lumpur, but it's about 30 minutes by uh, grab or taxi. And as you can see, it's really nice. I went with Firefly's premier experience, well, premier category, so you can make all of your reservations online. It is so fast, so easy, and the pricing is great when you book your premier hotel, or premier uh, flight plus hotel. And if you book premier, you get lounge access, and that makes for a much, much nicer uh, wait at Subang. You'll be very, very happy with Firefly and very pleasantly surprised, as I always am. want to do is get down to Old Town. I unfortunately was quite tight for time so I didn't get to go into all of the cafes that I wanted to but I'm putting a link down below to the gals from Beer for Breakfast. They did a cafe tour that was fabulous. I started with banana bread. Okay guys, if you're a foodie, first on your list is going to be Hiap Ju, which is a bakery that was founded in 1919, and they still fire bake their banana bread and coconut rolls just like, I, just like they used to back in 1919. It's very cool. Um, at the moment, there's a massive queue. I got really lucky when I first walked up. There was no one here. I was able to walk in, and they let me go and look inside the oven. Very cute guy um, manning it with just massive lo or massive pans of banana bread in there. They have two sizes. Um, this is the smaller size. It's five ringgit. It's still hot, fresh out of the, the fire oven. Then, there are coconut buns. 
I haven't tried these yet. I, I dipped into the banana bread already, so forgive me, but it comes, it's sliced up like this. Wow, it's moist. It's super flavorful. It's not too sweet. It is delicious. Definitely come down here if you're a foodie. This was first on my list. It's insane. I would recommend a morning visit there. I had very good luck with my timing. After that, you want to go walk around Old Town JB. Now, as you can see, it's just charming and lovely. There's such a sense of that Sadly, it feels weird to always say, you know, the colonial charm because there are certain negative connotations. Anyway, I digress. It is beautiful and so much fun. And the one thing I didn't get up to here that I really wanted to was to visit the cafes. They have a ton of charming cafes that all have a bit of quirky, quirky fun, like a, something different that makes each of them unique. But I walked around and I shot video and I got a sense for Old Town. And for me, that was all I had time for, sadly, but I loved it. It should definitely be top on your list. Number one of things to do after the banana bread. Now, two of the three hotels that I'm going to be recommending to you are very, very close to the Skyscape Glass Walk. Did I get that right? Yes, I got that right. Okay, it is really, really fun. And if you're here with kids, you're going to want to spend a half a day in this building. The building has uh, like an Angry Birds theme park and bunch of other things that just looked crazy crazy fun if you have kids I was on my own and just wanted to get kind of a panoramic view of JB so I went straight up to the skywalk you are given a pair well you, you buy, have to buy them but then you get to keep them but I just chucked mine um, you have socks with like sucky bits on them or um, like um, I don't know rubbery bits so you, you don't go <laughs> sliding off in the glass um, but you put your magic socks on first, leave your shoes, and go outside. I think generally you're given X number of minutes per group. I was the only one there and they were quite sweet to me, so I didn't feel that kind of pressure. But there was gaming that I passed as I was walking to the walk. And then you'll see as you're leaving, there's also this beautiful space and they told me they're opening up a cafe there. So I'm kind of sad I'm missing out on that cafe. Again, the cafes I'm missing. But hopefully when you visit them, the cafe will be there. That would be a perfect place to take in the sunset because it just looked like just so pretty. If you follow my channel, you know I love shooting mosques. They have a beautiful state mosque in JB. It's the Sultan Abu Bakr, and it's this beautiful pale yellow with, it, it just, it looked so loved and cared for. Um, it was built in the early 1900s, if I'm not mistaken, and it just, it, there wasn't a single thing out of place. So you can tell that there's daily love and care that goes into maintaining. The, not only the facade, but it looked like the interior of the mosque. I had a lot of fun because there's a local artist who has been selling, well, painting and selling um, images of JB and images of the mosque, not images, uh, watercolor paintings of the mosque and of JB. I went up, I was talking to him. I bought two of those. They're, they're here. I haven't framed them yet, but I bought a nighttime view of JB and I bought a pretty uh, like daytime fisherman view. If you go up, find that gentleman. He's been there 22 years, just charming as can be. But the mosque is beautiful. There's views of the sea from certain hillsides. It's a lovely, lovely place and just it sounds so stupid and petty, but it was just one of the like most Instagrammy pretty moss um, that I've seen in that style in Malaysia. All right, again, from where from two of the three hotels, the, there's this cute comics cafe that just looked crazy fun. I love Wonder Woman. So I actually went in, I was doing a little writing, catching up, and I ordered a Wonder Woman cappuccino. It'd be a really cute place to go with the kids. I'll put a link down below to the mall where I found that place. It was good fun. I didn't try the food, but the cappuccino was yummy. 
Uh, one thing you want to do when you're there is try street food as well, especially if you're hol holidaying in Malaysia. There are tons of places. I was there on off days, so I didn't get to the main night market, but as you can see, just there are amazing spots that pop up in different random neighborhoods that you'll pass. So if you're doing that, just have your taxi guy, you know, just, just if something looks bright and magical and fantastic, get out and go nibble a few things and, and walk around. Definitely try street food when you're in JB. Okay guys, I'm about to show you my three top hotel picks for JB. These are luxury hotels. I'm gonna give you about a minute each here, but down below there are links to uh, the longer versions of each of these videos. So do check them out. They collaborate with Firefly, so you can do your hotel and air bookings there. And yeah, let's get to it. Now, Amari is one of the, the two of the three hotels that I told you is really close to Old Town JB. I also just really enjoyed my room. As you can see, I have this quirky, bright, modern, um, kind of shabby chic feeling room that was so different. I hadn't seen anything quite like it. The executive club was insane as well. It was, it was subdued, like with the energy level of it, but they had a trolley with cocktails, yeah. They had the best cheese selection, sorry, if you follow my channel, you know I'm cuckoo for cheese. They had the best cheese platter at the afternoon, well, the evening cocktail hour, and I was just perfectly delighted every time I was in there. The drawback to Amari is there's only one restaurant. Well, there's a cafe and a restaurant. Um, so your F&B choices are a little limited, but you're so close to everything around you. I mixed and matched and I had a d delightful time every time I ate at the restaurant. So you have a great time there. All right, next again in alphabetical order is the Doubletree by Hilton Johar Baru. This is a great one if you're looking for a little indulging uh, like me time as well. I had in-room high tea. That was very fun. I had never done that before. Have I done that? Ah, actually the Double Tree in Kuala Lumpur. They did that there as well. It must be a Double Tree thing. Anyway, I thought that was fantastic not having to go down for high tea. So that's really fun. The executive lounge is big and spacious and lovely. They also were home to my favorite rooftop restaurant experience. You'd be sitting by the pool and it is just beautiful at night with the lights of the skyscrapers around you and the pool is blue tinted and it's just magical. And last but not least, again alphabetical order, is the Renaissance Johor Bahru. I had a really fun time there because it is a foodie's paradise. So it is located a bit further out, but it's still accessible, but you just have to hop in a taxi uh, for whatever you want to get up to. But if you're a foodie, you will love this place. I had one of the best Peking ducks I've had in ages. Dim sum lunch there is insane, like insane, insane. The sweets are nice and big. I even did breakfast in bed one morning there and they brought this gorgeous tray and had fancied up my pancakes and it was really good fun. The exec lounge also serves a really nice like nightly cocktail hour and there's a lot of food there. It was quite an energetic feeling in that particular lounge. I, I really had a good time. Now on this one the bar is indoors and on the bottom level so I ended up spending normally I go down for a drink every night at five uh, at the bar but I had so much fun at the executive lounge so when you book in be sure to get a club level room um, or club level suite like I had because that just that happy hour at the club was so much fun so I highly recommend traveling with Firefly I had a wonderful time at each of these hotels and I only wish that I could have explored more of JB. Gone to Hello Kitty Town. Uh, don't judge me. Wait, hold on. Okay, I, I even have a Hello Kitty mug. I just think she's so fabulous. Anyway, you are gonna love JB. 
I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or want to share any extra information about what people should do in JB, um, especially if you're a local watching this, please do add to the conversation down below. I'm planning a trip back again this year to JB and I would love to have a bunch of fun new things to try. So do add to the conversation and let us know what we missed or what I missed in this video, guys. All right, have a great day, great evening, great morning, whatever you're getting up to. Never stop wondering, never stop being curious, guys. Ciao.